The denarius, de, na, r, s, place. Denari, de, na, r, i, was the standard Roman silver coin from its introduction in the Second Punic War c. 211 BC to the reign of Gordian III AD 238 to 244, when it was gradually replaced by the Antoninianus. It continued to be minted in very small quantities, likely for ceremonial purposes, until and through the Tetrarchy 293 to 313. The word denarius is derived from the Latin deni, containing ten, as its value was originally of ten asses. The word for money descends from it in Italian denaro, Slovene denar, Portuguese denaro, and Spanish denaro. Its name also survives in the denar currency. Its symbol is represented in Unicode as U plus 10196, however it can also be represented as X, capital letter X with combining long stroke overlay. History A predecessor of the denarius was first struck in 267 BC, five years before the First Punic War, with an average weight of 6.81 grams, or 1 48th of a Roman pound. Contact with the Greeks prompted a need for silver coinage in addition to the bronze currency that the Romans were using at that time. The predecessor of the denarius was a Greek-styled silver coin called the didram which was struck in Neapolis and other Greek cities in southern Italy. These coins were inscribed for Rome but closely resemble their Greek counterparts. They were most likely used for trade purposes and were seldom used in Rome. The first distinctively Roman silver coin appeared around 226 BC. Classic historians sometimes called these coins denarii, but they are classified by modern numismatists as quadrigati, which is derived from the quadriga, or four-horse chariot, on the reverse, and which with a two-horse chariot or biga was the prototype for the most common designs used on Roman silver coins for the next 150 years. Rome overhauled its coinage around 211 BC and introduced the denarius alongside a short-lived denomination called the victoriatus. This denarius contained an average 4.5 grams, or 172nd of a Roman pound, of silver. It formed the backbone of Roman currency throughout the Roman Republic. The denarius began to undergo slow debasement toward the end of the Republican period. Under the rule of Augustus 31 BC AD 14, its silver content fell to 3.9 grams, a theoretical weight of 1 84th of a Roman pound. It remained at nearly this weight until the time of Nero AD 37 to 68 when it was reduced to 1/96th of a pound or 3.4 grams. Debasement of the coin's silver content continued after Nero. Later Roman emperors reduced its content to 3 grams around the late 3rd century. The value at its introduction was 10 asses, giving the denarius its name, which translates as containing 10. In about 141 BC, it was re-tariffed at 16 asses, to reflect the decrease in weight of the as. The denarius continued to be the main coin of the Roman Empire until it was replaced by the Antoninianus in the middle of the 3rd century. The coin was last issued, in bronze, under Aurelian between AD 270 and 275, and in the first years of the reign of Diocletian, denarius, in A Dictionary of Ancient Roman Coins, by John R. Melville Jones 1990. Topic. Debasement and evolution Topic. Comparisons and silver content It is difficult to give even rough comparative values for money from before the 20th century, as the range of products and services available for purchase was so different. Classical historians often say that in the late Roman Republic and early Roman Empire tilde 27 BC, the daily wage for an unskilled laborer and common soldier was one denarius with no tax deductions or about $2.80 in bread. During the Republic 509 BC, legionary pay was 112.5 denarii per year 0.3 per days, later doubled by Julius Caesar to 225 denarii 0.6 per days, with soldiers having to pay for their own food and arms. 
Centurions received considerably higher pay. Under Augustus, the lowest rank of centurion was paid 3,750 denarii per year, and the highest rank, 15,000 denarii. The silver content of the denarius under the Roman Empire after Nero was about 50 grains, 3.24 grams, or one tenth, 0 .105 OZT, troy ounce. On June 6, 2011, this was about $3.62 in value if the silver were 0.999 pure. The fineness of the silver content varied with political and economic circumstances. From a purity of greater than 90% silver in the 1st century AD, the denarius fell to under 60% purity by the year 200, and plummeted to 5% purity by the year 300. By the reign of Gallienus, the Antoninianus was a copper coin with a thin silver wash. By comparison, a laborer earning the minimum wage in the United States in January 2014 made $58 for an eight hour day, before taxes based on the mode value of $7.25 per hour, which was true then in 20 states, and an employee earning the minimum wage in the United Kingdom in 2014 made £52 for an eight hour day, before taxes. Influence In the final years of the 1st century BC Tincomeris, a local ruler in southern Britain, started issuing coins that appear to have been made from melted down denarii. The coins of Epilus, issued around Caliva Atribatum around the same time, appear to have derived design elements from various denarii such as those of Augustus and M. Volteus. Even after the denarius was no longer regularly issued, it continued to be used as a unit of account, and the name was applied to later Roman coins in a way that is not understood. The Arabs who conquered large parts of the land that once belonged to the Eastern Roman Empire issued their own gold dinar. The lasting legacy of the denarius can be seen in the use of D as the abbreviation for the British penny until 1971. It also survived in France as the name of a coin, the denier. The denarius also survives in the common Arabic name for a currency unit, the dinar used from pre-Islamic times, and still used in several modern Arab nations. The major currency unit in former Principality of Serbia, Kingdom of Serbia and former Yugoslavia was dinar, and it is still used in present-day Serbia. The Macedonian currency dinar is also derived from the Roman denarius. The Italian word denaro, the Spanish word denaro, the Portuguese word denaro, and the Slovene word dinar, all meaning money, are also derived from Latin denarius. <laughs> Value One gold aureus Two gold quinary. Twenty five silver denarii. Topic Fifty silver quinary. One hundred bronze sesterti. Topic Two hundred bronze dupondii. 400 copper asses. 800 copper semises. 1600 copper quadrantes. 1600 Use in the Bible In the New Testament, the Gospels refer to the denarius as a day's wage for a common laborer Matthew chapter 20 verse 2, John chapter 12 verse 5. In the book of Revelation, during the third seal, black horse, a choinix or quart of wheat and three quarts of barley were each valued at one denarius. Bible scholar Robert H. Mount says the price of the wheat and barley as described in the vision appears to be ten to twelve times their normal cost in ancient times. Revelation describes a condition where basic goods are sold at greatly inflated prices. Thus, the black horse rider depicts times of deep scarcity or famine but not of starvation. The English word, quart, translates choinix. Apparently, a choinix of wheat was the daily ration of one adult. Thus, in the conditions pictured by Revelation chapter 6 the normal income for a working class family would buy enough food for only one person. The less costly barley would feed three people for one day's wages. 
The denarius is also mentioned in the parable of the Good Samaritan Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37 has also been commonly identified as the tribute penny held by Jesus in the render unto Caesar passage Matthew chapter 22 verses 15 to 22 and Mark chapter 12 verses 13 to 17. See also Denarius of L. Censorinus, for the detailed description of a specific Roman denarius Dupontius French denier Gold dinar Macedonian dinar Cestertius Solidus coin. Tribute penny Notes <laughs>